Hi everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. I would like to share with you the inks that I got from the Pelican Hubs 2022 gathering here in Seattle. These are all samples um, and little ink bottles that I got for free. It was at the free table. Shout out to Nicole for painstakingly creating these really cute ink vials. And these are all troublemaker inks that she pointed me to. Um, I also got, <laughs> I think I was only supposed to get one ink, um, but in our gift bags, our swag bags, uh, I received a bottle of this 30 milliliter Lamy, and I would just assume it's red, in Lamy red. And then at the end of the evening, they had a few gift bags left over. And so then I got this in another bag, and this is the blue. And then shout out to Casey. Um, she had a bottle of the Edelstein Star Ruby already at home in her personal fountain pen ink collection. And so she gave this to me and she said, you have it. It was just really fun to meet all these wonderful people, including Casey and Nicole and so many other folks who were just so excited to be there. Um, and I learned so much. I got to meet some wonderful folks and got some amazing inks and ink samples along the way. So I am very excited to sample these with you. So I'm starting off by tracing the stainless steel cup and applying some flower outlines on the page. Um, I think I did this in a previous video and I liked the look so much that I am doing it here. We have 12 inks to showcase today. And at first I wasn't sure if all 12 inks would fit, but um, it did. And I think that's why I probably used the stainless steel cup to trace the flowers to make sure that I made enough space for all 12 inks. But I'm so excited to show you how these inks turned out. And there are a couple, one in particular, that has really, really surprised me. And the hint or the clue is that it's one of the inks that you see on the screen. This ink was provided to me as a sample by Casey. Shout out to Casey, hi. This is a collaboration between Pannonia and Ink Dependence and it's Cheerio Water Bus. It's really pretty. The particles in there are not shimmer, but they are matte particles. And when they pull up, the particles give you this beautiful blue look. Now this next one is Diamine Brandy Snap. And this is one of two inks that I got um, at the free table um, in this particular size. And it looks like um, it came from the Inkvent calendar. And I don't know if it's from last year or the year before. But Brandy Snap is an ink that I've been wanting to try. I saw it um, swatched in Job's journal. And uh, it's just that beautiful yellowy brownish uh, autumnal color that I've been enjoying these days. Um, I'm also swatching these inks using the cotton swabs and I just think that they add such a nice little detail to these large ink swatches. Uh, this next one is Diamine Vintage Copper and um, you know I'm looking at this ink now and I actually did do a little Google search after swatching and even after the close-ups feedback that I give at the end of this video. But it turns out that the reason why I love this color so much is because it's essentially ancient copper, but they added shimmer into it as well to give it like a festive look appropriate for ink vent. Um, and now this is Pelican Edelstein in Ruby Red. This was an ink that was given to me by Casey. She received it in her swag bag and she said, hey, you could totally have it. And I would not turn down a Pelican ink. So I said, thank you. And now I'm swatching it here. The Seattle Pelican Hubs meetup was well attended, I would say. We had about 70 to 80 folks attend. Uh, a lot of folks were new, like new timers and some had been a part of this Seattle Pen Club and other folks had gone to other previous Pelican Hub meetups. But it was fun in that I got to sit with other folks like Casey who had been there. It was her first time attending. And so um, it was just a lovely, lovely experience. I feel like you got to try out all the pens and inks that people brought. Um, many people brought like a good assortment of some of their favorite pens inked up in their favorite inks. 
And so I have a few inks that I've already purchased um, because I just tried them out. Um, and I absolutely love the colors, colors that I wouldn't even expect to purchase if I were just to look online. This is Lamy Blue, one of the free inks that I got in my swag bag. And although I don't really use or write with a lot of blue inks um, in my pens, I just love how this color turned out on the page. It's beautiful, it's vibrant, it's like your true blue, your standard blue. But I think what's so beautiful about it too is that it leans a little, what would I say red? I don't know, there's kind of like purplish hints in there. Now, I have to stop talking about blue because Lamy Red was actually one of the most surprising colors that I swatched out of the bunch today. Um, this is an ink that I probably would never buy on my own just because I don't tend to buy or I don't really like to write with red inks. Um, but this ink in particular, I don't know why. I don't, and I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it's got this like beautiful neon vibrancy to it that uh, made me really love this color. So I can't wait to ink it up. It kind of reminds me of my summer fruits video where I, I had swatched like OG cherry and um, another bright, you know, another bright pinky red uh, ink during the summer. Um, but the Lamy Red would definitely be one of those inks that I would have included. Okay, enough about Lamy Red. This is Troublemakers Copper Patina, and it's a beautiful turquoise color with this gold shimmer. It's absolutely pretty. All these Troublemaker inks were provided by Nicole. Hi, Nicole. And um, this one, Hanging Rice by Troublemaker Inks, is absolutely gorgeous. If I had had this ink in my possession earlier, it would have been in my Olive Green Inks ink comparison. It's this beautiful, rich, deep green with like this, I, I would say that it leans more yellow. You can definitely see some of the yellow undertones in it. Um, and it has a little bit of shimmer, like just the slightest, faintest hints of, um, of glitter and it's really, really gorgeous. Now this color here, Troublemaker Simoon. This is a gorgeous saturated blue. It reminds me Actually, I don't know if it reminds me so much as I can imagine this ink to be very similar to Diamine Polar Glow. It's a rich blue ink and it's got a ton of sheen. Um, so it reminds me of that Diamine ink in particular. We have Troublemaker Kelp Tea. Now there's just some weird warping on this swatch and I think it's because I had some like oil on my hands that kind of smeared onto the page. But anyway, this is a really gorgeous muted like khaki green color and um, you could tell that there is a little bit of like chroma shading in there and it kind of reminds me of some Sailor Ink Studio inks. Speaking of chroma shading Sailor inks, Troublemakers Milky Ocean reminds me of them. Um, it's this beautiful pale blue ink that has like hints of purple in it as it dries and it's an understated and yet dynamic ink uh, just because it's got a lot of personality, a lot of color variation, um, and I think it's such an imaginative and a really cute name too, Milky Ocean, um, and I think it really appropriately captures just the sort of flow of this ink. And the last ink that we have here is Moon River by Troublemaker as well. Um, and again, it reminds me of the chroma shading Sailor Ink Studio inks. Um, it's really pretty. Um, Moon River, yet again, it's, you know, talking about maybe like the liquid, watery aspects um, while, you know, having it set with something that's extraterrestrial, you know, something that's in the skies. Absolutely gorgeous um, and a beautiful multi-shading ink. All right, so some time has passed and the inks have all dried. If you hear a faint whirring in the background, um, it's my dishwasher, so just wanted to give you a heads up. Um, so as I'm looking at the inks here, we'll just briefly go over the inks that shimmer, the inks that shade, um, and is there another one? Oh, and the inks that sheen. Uh, so right off the bat, um, these two inks are the ones that shimmer for sure. 
So this is Diamine Vintage Copper. It's got like this beautiful muted orangish brown color with gold shimmer. I don't know if you could see that. I hope you could see it. And then uh, this is Copper Patina. I put an arrow up towards the Cheerio water bus only because these colors seemed kind of similar when I had swatched them wet when they were wet and as they've dried copper patina is much lighter less saturated in color and it's got this beautiful like rose gold uh, shimmer there and that's really pretty oh and there's a little bit of shimmer in um, hanging rice this is troublemakers hanging rice it's very faint. It almost reminds me of Wearing Old Path, where it had just the faintest bit of glitter in there. And Path is also more of a green color. Let me see if I could find it here. So, where is it? Wow, where is it? we go there is wearing old path that is like an olive green and hanging rice is definitely more of a saturated classic green this wearing old path definitely has more more brown in it a little bit earthier and it's got just faint faint bits of glitter and I would say hanging rice has a little bit more glitter than wearing old path um, as far as the sheening inks go, uh, I, Lamy Red, which is quite a surprising ink for me. I thought it would just be your true standard red. And as I look at it, it's a beautiful fluorescent orangish red, um, like a punch, like a punchy red, which is really delightful. So that one sheens. Uh, Troublemakers Simone, Simone. Not sure how to pronounce that, but that has a beautiful oil slick sheen. Also, Lamy Blue has some sheening as well, just like Lamy Red. And then also, Pelican Edelstein Star Ruby has some sheening as well. If I look at, it reminds me of. Um, the Caveco Ruby Red, except I would say Pelican's Star Ruby is definitely a little bit more bright. It's brighter in color. And then the um, Caveco, gosh, Summer Red? Oh my goodness, I don't remember the name of it. Oh, Caveco Ruby Red. It's more pink and maybe a little bit more muted, whereas Star Ruby is definitely brighter in red. Uh, so those are the colors that sheen. And then we have the shading inks here. So this is Diamine Brandy Snap, which is really lovely. It reminds me of, is it Wearing Old Kyung Hee? Let me see if I could find it. Oh, well, it's not like Wearing Old Kyung Hee, but it kind of in, not so much in the swap or the swatch itself, but in the writing sample, uh, it reminds me of Brandy Snap, except Brandy Snap is a little bit more brown. Kyung Hee is definitely more yellow, but this is definitely a color that I would enjoy writing with. It shades really beautifully. And then uh, Troublemaker Milky Ocean, first time. These are all first time inks as well, by the way. Troublemaker Inky Ocean or Milky Ocean and Moon River. These both are chroma shading in addition to Troublemaker's Kelp Tea. Uh, these are beautiful. This Moon River reminds me of Ink Studio. Let's see. 
it reminds me of some of these uh, lavender grays that I had swatched in a previous video. It kind of resembles Sailor Ink Studio 252 and 123. It's like a combination between the two. If you could see that, there's Moon River. It's got some pink, some gray, chromo shading, chroma shading there. And then there's Sailor Ink 123 and 252. And Milky Ocean is just gorgeous. As is Kelp Tea. Uh, and then this is the ink that Casey got me, or that she shared a sample of, and it's, it's the Pannonia and Ink Dependence collaboration. And there is, uh, there are matte particulates or particles in there. And I guess where it's the heaviest in saturation where the ink pools, there is definitely um, an interesting, kind of like a, a true blue in the middle of this um, kind of tealy turquoise color. That's really pretty. As I, as I touch it, it's got a little bit of like a rubbery feel. Um, in the most saturated areas for this particular ink. Um, but I do like how this ink shades and it's really pretty. So I wonder with the matte particulates, I don't know if I'm saying that right, is it particulates or particles? Is it both? Um, it reminds me a lot of the, I'm gonna wait till the dishwasher finishes. So I really enjoy the shading of Cheerio Water Bus. And I would like to hear from you, um, do I treat this ink the way that I would treat a shimmer ink? So this question also applies to these inks too. Um, I don't, I haven't really inked up shimmer inks in a pen yet. And so I would like to hear from you um, what pens you tend to ink up with shimmer inks. Um, yeah, so we'd just like to hear hear uh, what you think about that. As far as favorites go, gosh, I think it's hard to say. It's really, really hard to say. I would say the ink that I was most surprised by that I actually like a lot more than I'd expected is Lamy Red. Um, it's not really red. It's more of like a neon pink, orangey pink. In fact, it's a cross to me between um, OG Cherry. Where is it? It's a cross between OG Kobe 30, OG Cherry, and Kobe 11, Ikuda Orange. So if you were to blend the two, I believe it might come up with this sort of color, which is Lamy Red. And um, it's, it's a really pretty color. I might. I might ink that up in like, a, um, I don't know, I have a, I just got a Birmingham pen in like a hot pink. And so that might, it might be fun to pair this ink with that pen. Um, I really enjoy Diamine Brandy Snap as it's fall. I really love this color, Diamine Vintage Copper as well, though I'm a little hesitant to ink it up just because of the shimmer. So please let me know what sorts of pens that you ink your shimmer inks in, and then um, I'll give that a try. Uh, I've never tried any of these Troublemaker inks. So all these, these six inks on the bottom perimeter are all Troublemaker. Copper Patina is really pretty. The saturation and the sheening of Simone. Simone is gorgeous. Uh, this is beautiful in that um, it's got a lot of chroma shading and the shading is really pretty. That's gorgeous. This is gorgeous. And Hanging Rice is a really pretty green color and I don't have a lot of greens, like standard greens. I do have olive greens, but not ones that are more kind of right along the green color spectrum. Uh, Star Ruby is really pretty and it's just more of a vibrant uh, magenta ruby red compared to Caveco ruby red. 
Um, these are all really gorgeous. Actually, there isn't one that I like the least. I mean, if I were to say, if I were to pick one, just looking at the swatches, this might be my least favorite. But honestly, I, I like that ink as well. And um, we shall see when I ink up these pens because, or ink up, use these inks because um, some of these inks just have a different personality or a lot of these inks will change in personality depending on the pen that you use. So I look forward to using up these inks. These are so pretty. Yeah, can you see how the matte per particles in here changes the color of the ink? It's more teal and turquoisey, or more like an aqua, an aquamarine possibly. And then in the saturated parts, it turns definitely more of like just a beautiful blue. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye.